in the past 25 years, the biggest, most harmful attacks undoubtedly had some human vector in mm. there somewhere, either unknowingly or knowingly. So if we think about specific cyber attacks, so say if it's a cyber fraud incident, well, the psychological response might be that you feel ashamed or guilty that you lost your money in terms of, a, you know, a transaction or an investment. If it was a ransomware attack, you might feel very frightened. You might be a little traumatized or PTSD as a result of the t attack. If it's a sextortion uh, attack, then you might feel guilt or shame. And if it's a massive attack on critical infrastructure, then general population might feel a sense of panic. You might have problems with social order. We've talked about it's a team sport, but being an incident response team is a team sport as well. I had about 60 people. We worked very hard to bring all those people together as often as we could to make them into that team that knew each other, trusted each other, helped each other, were resilient and helped each other become resilient. Everybody has a place to play in that. But then there's a significant amount of forward planning. Society and our educational systems are not putting enough focus on, on cyber security. So there are plenty of uh, opportunities here through the lens of resilience for states to focus, but also I think for society to play its role alongside states.